Uh, new developments on President Trump's wiretapping allegations. To date, uh, I've seen no evidence uh, that uh, sub supports the claim that President Trump made that his predecessor uh, had wiretapped uh, he and his associates at Trump Tower. That evidence still remains the same, that we don't have any evidence that that took place. Well, leaders of the House Intelligence Committee say so far they have not seen any evidence that President Obama ordered wiretaps on Trump Tower during the 2016 campaign. But someone who is bugged says, wait a second, not so fast. Cheryl Atkinson joins us now, the host of Full Measure, the very successful TV series, and author of the upcoming book, The Smear, How Shady Political Operatives and Fake News Control What You See and What You Think and How You Vote. And Cheryl, welcome back. Thank you. So when you heard all this uh, controversy, about wiretapping and surveillance. What was going through your mind having gone through what you went through? Well, a couple of things. There's one question as to whether the president should sound off without presenting evidence. That's a whole question you can examine. It's a legitimate question. A separate question is whether he may be right, whether it's wiretapping or surveillance of some kind. I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility, especially considering the New York Times and USA Today reported that there was wiretapping going on of some of his top people, maybe through the Russian ambassador, but that right. too is a supposition. We don't know why and how there was the wiretap. Sure. Remind people at home what your story is. What happened to you? Well, in short, when I was doing a lot of uh, coverage of the Obama administration that they didn't like and were trying to stop, a source approached me, um, government connected, and told me I was likely being surveilled, which sounded crazy because it was before Edward Snowden and AP and Fox News right. knew about James their Rosen. surveillance. Yeah. But I was able to have a computer specialist connected with the government look at my computer and confirm, there's now been four forensic exams that have confirmed that there was software proprietary to a federal government agency in my computer. I have a lawsuit pending against the government. We just want them to tell us who had control and access of the IP, government-owned IP address that's been found forensically in my computer. Let us know. You still don't know. No, Department of Justice is blocking us from finding that information to date. Well, maybe with the new administration, you'll be able to get that information, which would be helpful. Uh, Donald Trump was on uh, last night with Tucker, where he said that he would soon essentially reveal to some of these committees investigating him some of the reasons why he feels like uh, the, he was targeted or I, I know targeted is not the right word, but surveilled, or people from the last administration were keeping an eye on his people, or maybe even him. And it is a possibility, even though right now, you've got uh, Devin Nunes and you've got uh, Mr. Schiff up on Capitol Hill saying, so far we haven't seen anything. There's a possibility it happened, and they'll, there's no paper trail to this. I don't have inside information, but I can tell you, based on my sources, there are all kinds of ways that bad actors or honest actors, either way, could wrap up somebody in surveillance that was not a target or whose name does not right. appear anywhere on a wiretap warrant or a FISA warrant. Here's Donald Trump last night saying, just wait a couple of weeks. I'll be out with some more. Listen. But wiretap covers a lot of different things. I think you're going to find some very interesting items coming to the forefront over the next two weeks. So ha explain what you were just talking about, how there may not be uh, a, a, an order from the court, and yet they're able to do it. If they're, for example, in my case, following whistleblowers, we know the government had a war on whistleblowers, um, they can wrap me up or other people under the auspices of a wiretap or a surveillance done of somebody else. So you're X degree off the person that they're looking at, and then they can find new reasons to look at you and to justify that, and then people that you talk to. And that's what Senator Ron Wyden I expressed so much concern about the Congress about uh, the latitude that some intel officials right. may be taking with the opportunity to do this. And the FISA warrant wouldn't say Cheryl Atkinson. It would be on the original target or the original yeah. intent. And you're caught up in it, but your name's not involved in it, but yet they could still see what I'm, they want I'm to I'm told by a source that at least for part of the time I've been surveilled, my name was not on a FISA warrant. So there would be a different way that they were surveilled. Well, maybe that's, that's what uh, Devin Nunes was talking about yesterday, where he was talking about incidental collection, where they're following, for instance, the Russian ambassador, Michael Flynn, talks to him on the phone. But instead of it uh, appearing masked as uh, U.S. citizen number one, somebody in the government removed that, saw it was Flynn, leaked it to the papers, he got ruined. And here's a really strange, weird thing that a source firsthand has told me. Presidents can issue directives that make legal or, or allow people to do things that are otherwise illegal, almost anything. Yeah. And that means, and we would never know about it because the directive, I'm told, comes with a cover story, indemnity for those involved, and the permission for them to lie about it if they're ever caught. That's like wow. Mission Impossible.
Well, so if the president didn't like your reporting, then he could be surveilling you and it wouldn't be illegal? I'm not saying that happened. But yes, I'm told that there is a power for any president, not just President Obama, right. to issue these directives. So it could have happened and we'll never know. It's possible. And your book is about how it changed your life and how it got you well, here? Well, The Smear, which is coming out in um, June, mm -hmm. which you can pre-order, is about control of narratives and information on the news, online, the actors that work behind the scenes to shape what we see and what we think. Sarah Atkinson, thanks so much. Thank you. And we'll forward to your series. It's on Sinclair, right? Yes. On, uh, on Full Measure. Thank you.